for the crappy and gills you're watching this dual creek and fishing Hey folks, Chris here with Pistol Creek Pan Fishing. Hope you're doing well. So we got another fun trip of ultralight crappie fishing lined up for this video. But before we hit the water, let me show you something really cool. So if you follow the channel, a couple of things you probably already noticed are, is one, I fish trout magnets and crappie magnets a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean pretty much all the time. I love those things. Second, I usually pair those lures up with some of the crappie nibbles or some other type of attractant pellets. In my opinion, Opinion, this is hands down one of if not the best bait setups for catching crappie, bluegill, red breast, or any other type of panfish. I honestly believe the effectiveness of this combination rivals even that of live bait. Plus, as an added bonus, you don't have to fool with all the trouble of transporting and keeping live bait alive. That being said, if I had to point out one very minor inconvenience that comes with using the attractant pellets, it's that you usually have to reapply those things in between fish. Uh, now again, that's a very minor inconvenience when compared to just using the soft plastics by themselves, but it does add just a few extra seconds in between fish there to include the pellets in your presentation. Well, at least it used to anyway, but that was before husband and wife crappie fishing team Blake and Reese Phillips invented what is one of the coolest innovations I've ever seen when it comes to crappie fishing gear. And then they partnered with Leland's Lures to share it with the rest of us. Check this out. Check this out, folks, the eye hole scent holder jig head. This thing is gonna be a game changer when it comes to pairing soft plastics with attractant pellets. There's actually a really cool backstory to how these jig heads were created. And if you get a chance sometime, go over to the troutmagnet.com website and check it out. In a nutshell, the eye hole jig head features a hollowed out center that allows you to insert your attractant pellets inside the head itself. This serves a few different purposes. First, it keeps a single pellet in place pretty much until you lose the jig head. All you have to do is press a soft pellet into the center of the jig head and then wipe away the excess dough. And voila, problem solved. No more rebaiting after every single catch. Another cool feature of the eye hole jig head is that it gives you the option to get more creative with the color combinations that you use with your crappie lures. The jig heads themselves come in six different colors and the attractant pellets come in a variety of colors as well. And that means you can mix and match to find the perfect color scheme that those finicky crappie are gonna be in the mood for that day. The eye hole jig heads are sold in, I believe, four different sizes as of the making of this video. Those include 132nd with a size 4 hook, 116th with a size 2 hook, 18th with a size 1 hook, and 316th also with a size 1 hook. They also feature the patented crappie magnet double cross collar, which has these two barbs on the neck to keep your soft plastics locked in place. And for you forward-facing sonar guys, live scope, active target, etc., here's a super cool bonus. Because these jig heads are hollow and thereby larger in diameter than other jig heads of the same weight, smaller sizes like the 132nd and 116th ounce will still show up on your live sonar screen. Now, I don't have fancy sonar myself, but I did get a chance recently to test these out using my buddy Mike's Garmin live scope unit, and he and Jim were able to watch the 132nd ounce eye hole jig that I was using as it moved through the water and down onto a school of crappie. The eye hole jig heads are available in four different head shapes, including the round head, the minnow head, the hammer head, and the peel head. If I'm not mistaken, the hammer head in particular was designed for improved visibility on forward facing sonar, and the peel head is shaped to cut through water or current for faster sinking. To me, the ideas that Blake, Reese, and Leland's lures have put into the eye hole jig head are just flat out impressive. They created something completely original here, and in doing so, created the potential for multiple enhancements to the crappie fishing experience. It's so well thought out, and I'm super excited to put some time in on the water with these babies. The attractant pellets we'll be pairing the eye hole jigs with today are the crappie magnet slab bites. The slab bites are available in four different colors, including chartreuse, 
pink, white, and silver glitter. They retail for $2.99 a jar, and they're made in the USA. There are several pellets in a single jar, and if you're gonna be pairing them with the eye hole jigs, you're gonna get a whole lot of mileage out of them because you won't have to use nearly as many. For soft plastic selection today, we'll be going with the crappie magnet in the wizard's glow color, which is a green with a chartreuse split tail. Fun fact, the wizard's glow crappie magnet bodies actually glow in the dark. Now, I don't do any night fishing myself, but I'd love to hear from one of you guys who does if you've ever used these and whether or not crappie were actually able to find these things in the dark. We'll also be taking along some of the tried and true trout magnets because I always like to fish the crappie magnets and trout magnets together as kind of a one-two punch approach. I found that sometimes when the bite slows down on the larger heavier plastics, downsizing to the trout magnet can lure a few additional fish out of hiding. Sometimes that slower profile and fall rate of the trout magnet on that 164th ounce jig head can make a world of difference for finicky crappie. And we'll be using a few different ultralight rod and reel combos today. I'll list those details in the description of this video. And for fishing line, we'll be using Berkeley Vanish Fluorocarbon and Trout Magnet SOS, both in two pound test. Now, without further ado, let's get out on the water and try to catch a few crappie. Right, got us a little crappie here. Beautiful little short white crappie there. Just a little dude, we'll turn him loose. Another white, pretty little fish. All right, so far, these crappie magnet slab bites in the chartreuse color are catching some fish. So we'll stick with this color for a little bit, see what happens. And then maybe later, if it slows down, we'll switch over to the pink. Slip the anchor up here for just a second and slide forward. I'd like to get just on the other side of this lay down here. Kind of work right down the side of it. There we go. Another one. Yes, sir. They're liking this chartreuse today. This wizard's glow crappie magnet in the green and chartreuse color. Another gorgeous crappie. There's some kind of little spot on his head there where he's got a little bit injured. I think he'll be all right. Let's turn him loose. There's a fish, a black crappie. It keeps down there pretty deep. Beautiful little fish. He's got his slab bite down in his mouth there. 
let him have that as his breakfast this morning. Nothing wrong with that. One thing I'm liking about these eye hole jig heads so far is in addition to that attractant bite that you can put up in the head and it'll stay put, you can double up and add a second one down there on the hook like I would normally do. And that gives you double trouble there. So certainly can't hurt. Well, there's a good one. Oh, barely got him in the net there. For her. Yes, sir. That is a nice crappie right there. Big old fat sucker. Put her on the board here and see what she measures. So about 12 and a quarter, almost 12 and a half there at the bottom end of the tail. That is an absolute doll. Let's turn her loose here. Another pretty good crappie. Uh oh. Well, he just about jumped out. This vertical jigged him right off the bottom there. Pretty, pretty fish. Well, I love these white crappie, especially. They're so pretty. It's turning loose here. Here comes one. Oh, that ain't a crappie. Old skipjack looks like. Well, that makes somebody some good cut bait. I bet old Stacy over there at Bank Fishing Adventures. He liked to get his hands on that, catch him some of those big catfish with it. comes one. Well, look there. <clears throat> I wasn't getting a bite on the bigger 132nd ounce stuff with the crappie magnet body. Switched it down to this trout magnet and the 164th ounce. And there we go. Another little beauty. Check that thing out. Let's let him go here. Got me, got, a, there, got me a ditch pickle, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Green carp, as my buddy would call it. You're supposed to be catching crappie, Mike, not bass today. I know it. I know it. I got stuff. He didn't like understand love. the assignment. <laughs> Beauty guys. There's a bunch on the bottom. Yep. They got spooked and went down to the bottom. Now they're going back up. There we go. Got 
one. Oh, nice. There we go. This is on the board, y'all. Look at that. Uh, now this is a crappie magnet with a um, Norma Jean crappie magnet and a eye hole jig head. So you went to the bigger crappie magnet? Yep. Nice. Another pretty little fish. All right, got, got one on here. Check that thing out. Let's get a measurement on this big dude. <laughs> Fourteen and a half inches. So my battery died there, but we're gonna weigh this big sucker. See what he lays here. Guys, you see that? Got it zeroed out. Okay. Yep. The two. 1.67. Oh, 1.67. That's still a big old healthy car. That is a big old healthy car. Put this big jumbo down in Mike, the bucket here. Have to add some water to this thing. There comes fish. All right, so first fish of the morning there on the crappie magnet with the eye hole jig head. Nice, so first fish on the crappie magnet with the eye hole jig head there. Beautiful fish. Here comes one. Look you there. Yes, sir. That's a slab of Rooney there. Let's get a measurement on this big boy. So he's 12 and a half. Put him in the bucket for Mike's cooler here. Put this big dude down in the bucket here. Here comes one. Got this one on the purple haze crappie magnet and the eye hole jig head there. Gorgeous little fish. Let's turn her loose here. Got him. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That is awesome. Another one on the purple haze crappie magnet. Big one here. Gorgeous fish. 
Let's get a measurement on him here. He's just over 11. So we'll add him to the bucket here. <laughs> 